Hi everybody. Today I will show you how to create WooCommerce product grid in Elementor. So let's just begin. All right. To install the product grid in your WooCommerce, you need to install the two plugins. The first one is actually the Elementor. So first of all, let's just go inside the plugin and click on the Add New. So you have to search for the Elementor here. All right. So as you can see here, that Elementor is already installed. The second plugin that we need is actually the essential add-ons for the Elementor. So we have to install this right now. Now let's click on activate. Okay, so as you can see here, the Elementor and the essential add-ons for the Elementor is installed and activated on our WooCommerce. So now what we need to do, first of all, I would go inside the settings of the essential add-ons for the Elementor. All right, so from here, let's just click on the elements. Okay, so in the elements, you just have to scroll down and you can see here in the WooCommerce elements, we have the product grid. So we have to enable this if this is not already enabled. Okay, so after that, we have to click on the save settings. But the thing is, I haven't done any changes here. So that is why I cannot save the settings. Okay, so if I just disable this and enable this again, now I can click on the save settings. All right, so now what we need to do, we we'll simply create a new page. Click on the add new. All right, so here you just have to write down the name of the page. So I will write down product grid. All right. And what I need to do, I just simply click on the template here. And from here, I have to select the Elementor pull width. All right, so now let's click on Edit with Elementor. All right, so I'm actually using the template. So that is why I'm having all of these options and the design. So you may have the different options in the design depends on the template that you're using. Okay, so now let's click on the add here. All right, so I would simply like to have the single column structure. All right, so now what I need to do, let just click here and I have to search for the product grid. Okay, so as you can see here, the product grid here by EA, which simply means the essential add on. So let's just drag this and put this here. And you will be able to see the product grid here. So the first thing that you need to do is to change the layout to the grid. Okay, so after that, we have the style preset. So in the style preset, we have the different values here. So you can simply choose any value, whatever you want. So let's click on the preset add. And now you can see that we have the different design here. And if I just click on the preset five, you would have the different design here. So that is how you can play around with the style presets here. So I simply go with the simple style here. All right, so after that, we have the number of the columns. So if you want to go with the four columns, you can simply go here. If you want to go with the two columns, you would have the two products in a single row. If you want to go with three, you can have the three products. If you want to go with the five, you can have the five products. And if you want to go with the six, you will have the six columns. All right. So that is how it works. So I will simply go with the four column structure here. And if you want to show the badge such as the sale or out of stock, you can simply enable this. Otherwise, if you don't want to show, you would simply disable this. Okay. So after the layout, we have the product settings. So in the product settings, we have the source, we have the filter by. So in the filter by, you can actually filter the products. So in here, we have the recent products, we have the featured products, we have the best selling products, and we have the sale product, top rated product, and the menu selection. So I would just simply click on the sale products here. And here, you will be only able to see the products that are on sale. All right, so if I want to disable the badge here of the cell, I'll just simply click on the layout and disable the value here. And now you won't be able to see the badge of the cell. Okay, so let's just enable this again and click on the product settings. Okay, so after that, we have the order by. So if you want to order the product by date, product ID, product title, price, and you can also see the other options here, you can simply do it from here. And whether you want to order the product in the ascending order or the descending order. So you can simply choose that from here. And after that, we have the product count. So if I just go with the eight values here, let me just change the filter by value here to the recent products. Now we will be able to see the add products. Now you can see the add products here. So from here, you can add the products count. And after that, we have the offset and we also have the product status. So if you want to filter the product by product status, you can simply do it from here. And after that, we have the product category. So if I want to add the category here, I can see this. So let's just click on the dresses here. Now you will be only able to see the products that comes under the category of the dresses. So let's delete the value here. Okay, so after that, we have the layout. So we only have the default value. So after that, we have the title HTML take. So you can simply change the take from here. Okay, 
So we have the product rating. So if you want to show the product ratings, you would simply enable the value. But if you want to disable this, you can simply disable this from here. And in a similar way, if you want to show the product price, you would simply keep this value to the yes. Otherwise, if you don't want to show the price, you would simply disable this. Now you can see this, we are unable to see the price of the product here. So let's enable this again. And you can change the image size from here. And if you want to show the product compare, you simply enable this. And if you want to make the image clickable, you will simply enable this value. And same goes for the wish list. In the similar way, you can explore the sale or stock out page. Okay, you can see here. So you can play around with these values. So let's close this. And we also have add to card. So in the add to card, if you want to show the custom text, you would simply enable this. And from here, we can simply change the text of our add to card. So now you can see this for the simple products, we have the buy now. And you can see this, we have the text of the buy now from here. So if you want to add the custom text here, so you can simply do it from here. All right, so now this would be the text of our add to cart button. Now you can see the custom text here on our add to cart button. So this is how you can add the custom text if you want. So I will simply go with the default value. So let's disable the value here. And in the similar way, you can show the load more option and you can also add the pagination. So let's enable the pagination right now. And you can see the option of the pagination here. So this is how we can create the product grid. So now let's click on the style here. So in the style, we have the products. We have the color and the typography. We have the button style. So if you want to change the styling of the button, you can simply do it from here. And we also have the sale page style. So if you want to change the style of the sale page, you can simply do it from here. And we have the pagination. So let's click on the pagination right now. And in the pagination, we have the text color and the background color. So if you want to change the background color, okay, so let's just click on the activate. So I want to change the background color of the activate. So it should be a kind of, okay, so this is looking fine. Okay, so I like this color and you want to change the normal color. You can simply do it from here. All right. So if you want to change the typography, you can simply change the typography from here. Okay. So if you want to change the alignment or to add the top spacing, you can simply do it from here. So let's add the spacing here. I think this is looking fine. Okay, so in the similar way, we can customize the other options here. So now just click on the button style. So in the button style, I would like to change the background color. Okay, so I would go with this color and I can add the border if I want to. Okay, and we can also change the text color of the button. So let's just click here. And if you want to change the text color, you can do it from here. But right now, I will just simply keep the value to the default value and in the last let's just customize the products so in the products we have the alignment we have the content background color so if you want to change the background color of the content you can simply do it but i would simply keep the default value and we can add the padding so we have the border width and the color and in the last we have the border radius so i would simply like to add the border radius here all right and i would also like to add the border here so let's change the color to the black Alright, so let's just keep the value of the border radius to the 10 from each side and I would change the value of the width here. So that would be one on the top. Okay, so this is looking fine. And in the similar way, we can customize the other options as well. So now let's click on the publish. And let's just have a look at our page. And now you can see this. This is how our product grid is looking and this is looking really good. So this is how you can create the WooCommerce product grid in Elementor. And if you really find this video useful, Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel.